Hi guys. So this is the first time that you will see me making a spell jar live. So of course first I have to light the incense or whatever you wish to use to cleanse your jar. So you can see the smoke. I don't know if you can because the background is white of course. But here we have our jar. We simply just take the little cork lid off it and we just make sure it gets spooky. Cleanse, cleanse that spell jar. You can see the smoke filling the jar there. There we go, the focus is better there. So there we are, just cleansing this jar. Um, and don't worry if you get a bit of incense in there, that's okay. Um, trying to make this as pretty as possible for the video, but that's okay. So you cleanse the jar for as long as you feel you need to. Um, my space is very cleansed. I cleanse everything all the time with sounds, as you know. So I'm feeling this is pretty cleansed. But this is a very special protection jar and it's for a client. So I'm going to talk, talk through what is going to go in it. So we begin with some black salt. So we are going to, it won't stand up, it doesn't want to stand up because it will stand on there. So we're going to put a little bit, got a very lovely spoon here, put a little bit of black salt in the jar here. You can see, um, you know, I'm quite messy, so don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> but there we are, a little bit of black salt in there. And you can judge how much you feel you need. I want to start with the black, the black salt. So, I don't feel like I'm very good at getting this in frames. There we are. Very nice. Uh, do you know if I'll put a tiny bit more in that? No, I will leave it like that. I feel, I'm feeling like that is good. So, a little bit of black salt at the bottom. Very, very cleansing salt there. Everything going into this is going to be super super cleansing and protective because this is very important. Um, the My client has um, gin in the family so this is a very important spell jar. So um, next I'm going to use a bit of sage. So this is just loose sage. So just put it in there and you may be surprised uh, I'm not really going to use, I mean, I have, I'll show you. I have a big bag of crystals that fit in the jars. But for this particular spell jar, I'm very drawn to resins because resins are just so powerful. You know, resins are so, so powerful. Um, I would also drop a... A drop of tea tree in here will be perfect. A drop of tea tree um, anywhere. Put, put it in first, put it in now, wherever you can. A drop of tea tree as well will be perfect. I will probably do a little drop of tea tree at the end because I didn't bring it here basically. But before I seal the jar, I will. I will drop a little bit of tea tree in there. So a lot of people use sage for cleansing which I'm not against, of course, as you can see, have some sage here, but tea tree, for me, it's so much more powerful, guys, it's so powerful. If you are cleansing and sage is not working for you, use tea tree, okay? So oh, we do have a bit of sage in here, and next up, mare, so we're going to put mare in as well. Mare is a great resin, very high vibrational and good for protection, as well. So put a little bit of mare in there as well for protection. Let's see, do we think we have enough mare in there? Mm, I think a little bit more. So there is also, um, actually next we will do 
uh, or Google. So when I was saying this on stream, people thought I was saying Google, like, um, you know, google.com. <laughs> but um, Google, yes. So it's perfect. This is perfect. If you want to pause and read the back, um, you could do that. But the thing that stands out to me the most when I was drawn to this, pro this product, this resin, before I knew about it, was it says here, drives away evil spirits as well as removes the evil eye from the home and and its family members. So I knew that I knew there was a reason that I was drawn to this resin. Absolutely love it. Used it for the first time on stream recently, and it's just perfect. And it does smell very medicinal. I'm just hoping they're very big chunks of resin. So yes, breaks quite easily. That's great. <laughs> Soles and foot. But but this one's very important. I think that we do need this one in the jar. So I'm just going to break it up as much as I can just to fit it in there. There we go. I think it fits now. Oh, yes. Perfect. So there we are so far. And the next thing we're going to put in. So just to go back over, we have black salt, we have sage, we have mare resin, and we have this beautiful um, Google as well, which I love right now. And there is another resin that I love right now as well, and it is amber. So amber is perfect. I personally I think I'm biased towards it because I love the smell. It smells amazing, but it's also good for protection. It's good for cleansing. It's it's good, great for all of these things. So, you know, I'm very, very drawn to resins right now. I'm much more of a resin person than a crystal person as well. So this is pretty much the, the jar. I will um, go and find my tea tree, put a little drop of tea tree in there, tea tree oil I use. Um, but if you can get tea tree in, in any other form, then that's perfect as well. But this is the jar. But this is the jar that we have. So we have black salt, sage, mare, amber, and Google. And a little drop of tea tree, which I will do now. But that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect as a protection and a cleansing jar. Of course, I cleanse it first, as you saw, and after I'm done, I will be channeling Reiki energy to it, um, doing a bit of a, a little spell myself, you know, really amplifying and activating the energies of, the, of these resins before I send this to the client. So, okay, so we have the drop of tea tree in there now. <laughs> Sorry I didn't bring the tea tree here, um, but yes, it just pause that for a moment to go and grab the tea tree. Tea tree is perfect. I can't stress it enough. If you find that sage is not working for you, I personally really would recommend dropping drops of, of tea tree oil around your home. It's perfect. It's very, very strong. So now we're going to seal. We're going to seal it. So this is quite, quite the fun part, I would say. So let's get rid of um, well, I've got rid of our very beautiful sacred resins. Let's remove them from shop. Beautiful. Definitely going to get more of that. Um, 10 out of 10 from me. And Amber, of course, my favourite. Absolutely love Amber. So, okay, we are left with our spell jar and our little candle the lighter of course here as well so of course we don't want to get wax on our cloth i don't know fro um fro i suppose you call it so we have some paper here just to catch the wax like i'm very very messy a very messy person so we just make it just so just making an effort to be a little bit more tidy here. So what we will do, I hope I'm in shot here. So and we'll, I light the candle, of course. Perfect. Probably won't need that lighter again, hopefully. So 
then we will make this is in short um drip the wax to seal the jar and i'm using a black candle because i really use the color associations in my spells and what my energy work color is very important to me you know all color is has its own like kind of vibrance or frequency or whatever you want to um call it but they all have their own kind of properties if you will and for me i love a black for protection but if you don't feel I, i'm quite strong in terms of spiritual interactions if you will so i remove negative entities from people i've dealt with negative entities if you have not done that before in your life then you may use white instead of black if you don't feel particularly strong and you can call on your angels as well um, with a white candle and just ask for some extra guidance there but i think that's almost done and sealed here and i hope you guys can see i i think i need to get used to my technology a little bit better just in terms of being in focus really i would say but yeah so i think we're sealed here let's just check if i move the paper around it'll be easier just check the other side yeah i think we're looking good here Perfect. Okay. What I always say as well, guys, is when we have one of these spell candles, we can... It's very powerful. It holds a lot of powerful energy, of course, as you've already seen from the resins and the herbs within it, and the spell and energy that will be channeled into it as well. So it holds a lot of power. But the positive thing about it is you can keep hold of these jars and then when they are if you feel perhaps like they're losing a bit of energy maybe it's been a month or so if you feel they're losing a bit of energy you give them a gentle shake to reactivate and refresh their energies so here we have our finished jar and this is a small spell jar I also do, and I will show pic pictures of those, I do heart-shaped spell jars, star-shaped spell jars, and sp spell jars that are smaller than this, but necklaces. So they can be a little necklace as well, and I will show them as well on screen. And I can do any kind of spells. So this particular one is for someone specific and is for protection. But I, of course, can do love spells, money spells, and all different types of spells with these as well. So if you are interested in your own spell jar, you are very welcome to send me a message or visit secretfrequencies.com. Love, light, and blessings to each of you.